Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Tone. Today I'm going to be making a video to demonstrate these two bows that I'm trying to sell. They're complete packages. I also have these traditional recurve bows for sale as well. Uh, they'll be much cheaper, but I have a lot of accessories. I've been shooting for about five years and this just became a passion. I kind of got obsessed about it. But I just have way too much stuff and uh, I'm here to help you out if you want to start a package or get into the sport. So the first one is a more traditional compound magnum bow. It's the Martin Lynx Magnum. It comes with everything. It has a bow sight, a uh, peep sight, arrow shelf, stabilizer, trigger release. I'm going to add in three more arrows as well and quiver. And it comes with a hard case, field locker. It's a pretty durable, complete setup. It's in great condition. I just, I don't know if you saw a video of this before, but it didn't have the bow sight. So I couldn't really sh show how accurate and the consistency of it. Now this is going to be a newer model, probably in the 2010s and up. It's a Martin Wildcat APG, very min minimalistic bow sight, beautiful camo, has the stabilizer here as well. And this trigger release, I'm not too quite fond of, but it is, uh, I mean, it works. Um, this is a metal knock and it's going to come with a camo trigger release and three arrows as well. Uh, for the bow quiver you can choose between the old or a new one. I just have to install this. Or I mean this is a like a sling for your hip but you'd have to put a strap on that as well. So let's just gear up and I just wanted to demonstrate the old one first. Also these are adjustable cams that comes with the Wildcat. Uh, if you want to increase the poundage you're more than welcome to take it to a technician but I don't really have the tools or equipment to adjust with that. So we're just going to be shooting at 10 yards and just see how this bad boy shoots okay so I'm just gonna have my range finder at 10 yards this is yep right around there mark it so this first shot I'm gonna be trying to aim for the middle there's a smaller circle within the middle of the white circle That was right around the same spot. And the next two, let's try aiming for that white circle above the top. Yeah, this bow is really consistent. Probably has a let off around 60%, but the draw weight is probably over 50 something. Five. Really accurate. Really accurate. Uh, so you can see my first two shots down here. They're a little bit to the bottom left. And these are pretty good on the top circle. So I have confidence in this buy. Uh, this complete setup with all the accessories and arrows. This is going to be 200 bucks. I'm always open to offers, but I mean, this is a pretty good deal. This is a great starter bow. It's about eight, seven to eight pounds. I didn't weigh it, but it's just what I'm guessing. Now, let's try this guy out. So with this arrow shelf, the reason why I wasn't really too 
a fan, huge fan of it is because sometimes when you pull back, it sets off, so you have to just adjust it with your finger. And other than that, it's very quiet, light, accurate. Okay. Pull the different arrow. Let's shoot this one with the top circle. Oh. See, well, this one just makes you have pull. Try to pull back with better form, but. It's darn well. I'm gonna shoot this one again at the top white circle. That one was dead on. I think it moved the other arrow. Let me try to sneak in this one at the bottom. So this shoots just as accurate, if not more. Maybe I just didn't take my time. But these are great Martin bows. I only buy Martin. I mean, I've tried Diamondback PSE, but I just became a fan of theirs. This one with the complete package is going to be 450. You have the choice of the soft case side sling hip quiver or the quiver that is installed on the side of the bow. Uh, personal, okay, this one, it just goes in like so. You just lift the clip and slide it in. This beautiful setup here. That one as well, I'm gonna put one on there. These other two traditional recurves, they're more for like the youth, but the Samic, that's a 50 pound. This is not strong, so I have a bow string that you can install it on. But, I mean, I've got a bunch of stuff for sale. Hunting knives, uh, broadheads, peep sight, I mean, sorry, bow sight, some D-string loops. But let me know if you're interested. I'm here, and hope to hear from you soon.